Lucas Media. Shout out to the ones who support me and the ones who hate me. So, Tiafima Lopez finally spoke on Ryan Garcia versus Devin Haney. And T.O. said, quote, everybody got psyched from what Ryan was doing. He played it smart. He did what he did. Congratulations to him. I'm actually happy things turned out the way it did. With Ryan now in the mix, it just makes things much better. But it doesn't take away from what Haney has accomplished and what he's done in his time frame. He just wanted to cash out, and he sure did. Was that punch drunk, drunk boxing? I don't know. Look. This is the thing, right? Everybody keeps making fun of Devin Haney and, and you know, Ryan Garcia came in three pounds overweight. Devin Haney was drained. But whatever, right? Y'all going to say I'm, giving, I'm making excuses. Devin did what most fighters dared to do. And that's try to fight the best. And, and again, I keep getting Ryan Garcia's credit as well. And when you fight the best, you're going to have an off night. And you're going to get beat. And people are so hung up on him getting beat. And didn't Ryan Garcia make a diss song at Devin Haney? It's like, dude, you lost. Tiafima Lopez, you lost to George Cambosis. So, it, it, it happens. It's boxing. When you fight the best, you're going to take an L. And even with Devin get that 1.5, I mean, yeah, he didn't think Ryan was... was was uh, going to be 100% there. And he, honestly, he was getting beat. <laughs> Ryan was, even after he clocked Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia was, he was getting beat. And then, you know, Devin fell into Ryan Garcia's tactics and Ryan ended up beating him. But if Devin just would have fought his fight, Ryan couldn't touch him. And you can see Ryan vis- visibly getting mad when Devin was tagging him. So, I mean, it happens. I mean, everybody, they got their laugh. But Devin Haney is one, still one of the biggest names right now. And if everybody can support Broner and all his losses and other fighters and all their losses, then Devin will be fine. And he probably going to end up making more money coming off this loss. But I just want to give my quick thoughts about it. I mean, T.O., didn't you lose the camp? You lost Cambosis, bro. Which was a complete upset. You know, at least Ryan was a you know a star fighter. We didn't even know who Cambosis was like that. You know, and even you came back and won your belt, uh, won another belt over um, ah, uh, what's his name? Was it Josh Taylor? Can't think off the top of my head. But you beat uh the guy from what was it Ireland or UK or whatever over there, and people have moved over from your loss. So it's, it's gonna happen. You know, soon Devin Haney get a belt. And he probably, I think he's moving to 147. But as soon as he go up there and win a belt, you know, people move on. But I just want to get my quick thoughts about it. Tell me what y'all think.